Hello guys, it's Andreas. Um, um, I'm back from my third uh, night in the field. It's around 3 a.m. in the morning. And uh, uh, I, f I succeeded in my mission today. Um, I was pretty much a fearless, fearless conqueror. So uh, first bar I went to, it was a uh, complete fail. It was empty, there were no people at all. I ordered a drink, I didn't drink it. I just, you know, it was like a, a token drink or something. You know, something to have there that you're not standing alone. And I, yeah, I didn't want to approach someone there. Then some guy came over and uh, he turned out to be uh, a German professor, like in his mid forties with two kids from Germany. And uh, we made friends and we decided to go to a club and not stay in, the, in this little pub. So I drove him to the club. He paid the entrance fee, that was very nice. So, um, and what happened there? So basically today I wanted to, um, I wanted to get rejected, you know, rejected. And I got rejected real badly. Uh, not in the first set, um, later on a couple of times, you know. Um, uh, club game is really, really hard. It's so difficult. It's so loud. You can't hardly talk. And, and what I did today, I tried Aussie's physical game. <laughs> I've never done this in my life. To be, um, I wanted to be totally off. And I pretty much overdid it a bit, I think. Because... I went in just like, hey girls, grab a girl here, grab a girl there, and say, yeah, kiss each other, like Tyler, you know. And they were like, no, God, no. <laughs> and the first girl, I would go there and put my arm around her and say, hey, how's it going? I'll chat a little bit. I mean, she wasn't really good looking, so yeah. I did the claw, this arm technique around with every girl I saw, and, and it was always like, one or two girls and I would open, I would be there, but there was no, no attraction, you know, I, you can't say maybe like three to five sentences and they will always ask you, um, what was your job, what is your, how old are you, where are you from, um, all these nonsensical questions and boring questions, you know, and there's, there was simply no attraction, like the girls seemed all weirded out or, they were not present, they were not there with me. And um, a lot of guys also, I mean, uh, yeah, it's, it's really difficult. Um, what else did I do? I mean, I was rejected sometimes really badly, but I entered anyway, and I talked to them, and I approached. And I think this is good because it somehow liberates you because if you it's not like I'm totally outcome independent yet so um, but I didn't feel really crushed today because they will never say go away go away they will just go oh yeah uh, thank you uh, uh, yeah yeah I will have to go to the bathroom and blah, blah. I mean maybe they're afraid of me or maybe they're afraid because I'm a little bit stronger so could be and some of them said you look like you're younger than me. I'm 26, you know, and it's crazy. I'm, I'm like f almost eight years older than her, and she said like you look so long, maybe because I didn't have my beard today, and it helped because I, I, I made some cool moves. Uh, for example, I took one girl, and she was only 17. I took her at a waist and said, "Hey, how's it going?" Pull her over, and they were all pretty much. I think they were not uh, really comfortable with this. If you go in all in like Ozzy is doing his videos, I think it's just too much. You can, it's like it's too much. You're not calibrated, or am I, I am not really calibrated. I don't know what to, what to say. I think in my country, uh, all the girls are very reserved and you have to say, oh, you're so beautiful. Maybe you can talk to me. Fuck you, fuck off, fuck off. You know, and uh, sometimes I, I blow them out too because they say, you can always piss off if you want. I mean, and this is not good because I want to stay positive and I, I could really keep this up 
the whole night because I wasn't drinking a lot, so I could keep my mental state focused. I would always today I, I, I made one um, uh, something for the first time, and which is whenever I thought I was not going anywhere, I would just sometimes eject after a while and say, "Okay, this is not going anywhere. Um, he, where's your friend here? Let me talk to her." Or something or go over to some other group open them and they say oh wow, this is my boyfriend oh, blah 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 okay hi boyfriend how's it going and so on I also talk to quite a few guys not really I, I think sometimes they look just stupid or what they say is just stupid it's so 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 weird I, I feel so alienated by these guys you know in the club it's not like I, I meet my soulmate this German guy was really cool. Maybe he will be here in, in Linz again after a while and maybe we'll go out again. But he's married and he doesn't want to approach a lot of women. Also, I think he has good game. He can really approach people well. I mean, let's see. So today I learned my lesson. I went in fearless. I did the claw. I did physical game. I did um, a lot of approaches. Um, I did the club, it was loud, um, yeah, it doesn't feel like a big achievement today, um, in hindsight, um, I would have to analyze a bit, maybe what I did wrong, what I can do better in the future, maybe calmer places are easier um, to get the grips with, um, really have a nice talk and nice chat, and um, yeah, it's not so easy. Your time windows are very small. If there's one girl, and there always will, because some guy will put themselves on there. And one last anecdote, because when I left, I was um, I was kind of frustrated, um, and this guy would rush by me with a girl in his hand, and he looked like a real weirdo, like a muscle thing, and he he would he would just almost run me over, and I took my hand and like. And throw it at him. And he would like oh, we meet and looks down for me like ten centimeters bigger. And I looked in his eyes and I said, "Hey, you fucking idiot! What's wrong with you?" And he he suddenly got a bit. He got afraid, I think, and that's when he let go. It's really really weird because he's just a young guy. You know, I'm I'm pretty much heavier than him, maybe a little bit smaller, but I was really aggressive today and. But uh, in the in the end, I would let go, and I said, "Okay, it's okay. Just move on. You know, be friendly. So you can get into fights if you really, if you are too slow or maybe too drunk. You know, I was still not really drunk. That's what I'm also proud of. So, okay. So let's see how this is going. Third night. Okay." See you later.